Hello everyone, welcome to another EV Ramblings video. This is an update on electromagnetic radiation. And what I'm going to be doing is testing the 2019 Hyundai Kona electric vehicle. Uh, I've actually had a lot of requests from people to do more of these, and so I have this vehicle for the day. I'm going to take it down on the route that I did my other video. Uh, I will have a link to the other video as well, but basically the concept is I have this meter, and I'm just going to see what, how high it gets. Uh, if I remember correctly, the my 2012 Nissan Leaf hit about... Uh, 10 of this electromagnetic field rating. Uh, I had a Kia Sportage which hit a uh, almost 12, 11.99 and then my Chevrolet Volt was up in the 17s I think. So I'm going to do a walk around first though of this. See what rating we get on the outside. So I have like 7, 6.9, 9, 8, 5. As I did with my other video uh, there's just a lot of electromagnetic radiation here without the vehicle, so I just want to see, so 5.9, 5.1, 4.2, 2, I don't know, so it's, it's high. I think there's a electric power lines below me, so let's go inside the car. We should experience a drop when we get inside. Which we do, it's almost zero. Okay, so let's turn this off. So, yeah, inside the car, it, there's hardly anything. Uh, now, I'm going to turn this beep off. It drove me insane the last time I did this video. And uh, it's going to drive me insane now. And I'm going to put this here. This is about, oops. This is about where we were on the other one. Um, is this still working? Yeah, it's still working. It's just there's hardly anything in here. So, we're almost at zero now. Let's turn the car on. Car is on. You saw a little bump there. Yeah, let's go for a quick drive. I'm gonna have it on an active display with this, uh, with, this with the, the test, so it's just constantly adjusting as we go. Uh, once I'll do a kind of a back loop where I put it to show the highest that we see, so we'll have that. But I'm not seeing anything right now that indicates that we have a very high electromagnetic field. If I accelerate, yeah, it goes up three, four, it's low, so for what we were seeing. Now I am doing the same route that I did before, i assuming that some external factors have changed because it's been a while, I think it's been over a year since I did that video, and I didn't, never intended to do any more, but like I said, I had people who really have been asking to see this, and I just had the opportunity of having this vehicle close to where I live, and so I'm like, hey, why not just recreate this uh, situation? see what we get so wow I don't know if this car just has crazy shielding or the fact that this uh, sensor is higher in the car because I'm sitting up quite, quite a bit more upright in this car than the other vehicles I was in the, well with the exception of the Kia Sportage but I'm about to go past a big electric uh, substation coming up here and we're seeing higher numbers 7.3 7.4 actually I think we were seeing that with uh, let me do some regenerative braking here no that doesn't do much but we saw like 7.9 8 something like that so that would be just what is in the area I think given that electric substation stop sign up here and then I'll put it in like a, a hold mode where it shows the highest that we hit and we'll go back and see what we're at uh, but okay let's put this in okay. okay so but something that I didn't talk about in my last video is that just that at the beginning of this video when I'm walking around the car you can see there's a lot of like electromagnetic field radiation being registered then as soon as I got in the car it goes down 
the car is shielding me from electric magnetic regime. And this is a full battery electric vehicle. And I guarantee you that the high numbers that we're seeing is gonna be external factors, like things outside of it, the car. And a lot of it's gonna come down to how much it shields you from that. And I think that's kind of more what I saw from my results before. So, so really we're looking at how much the car can shield us from because our average driving on this car is ultra low. So we're about to go past the electric substation again. I think that's where we're gonna see the highest number, but so far the highest we've seen is 2.45. Like I said, the leaf was the lowest that we saw with like, it was just over 10. And I'm not sure what the units of measurement are for this. acceleration so that's 6.99 okay. we're just retracing our steps at this point and this uh, should be noted that the electric motor in this car is 150 kilowatt uh, the one in the Leaf, the 2012 Leaf that I tested before, was 80. So this is almost twice the power. The battery is also significantly larger in this car. 64 kilowatt hours compared to 24 on the Leaf. And unless something crazy happens right now, this is going to be the new number one king for electromagnetic radiation on my testing. Because we're at 6.99. have a new king or queen or leader or whatever you want to call it yeah 6.99 so that's compared to the 10.2 or something like that on the leaf so that's fantastic like if that's something of concern for you this car is killer I'm just uh, going around the vehicle trying to see if there's any other fields nothing that goes above that Let's put it back on. So average, we're still really low. Turn the car off. Open the door to turn all the electric box off. And yeah, virtually no change. No, there he goes. It's uh, it's, it's registered. There's nothing, no field now. So this the sensor, I think, does have a little bit of a delay. So there is clearly, like if the car has electricity and it's running, it's creating a field, uh, but the field is quite small. And compared to the vehicles I've tested on the same route, this one has the smallest electromagnetic field. And it, if anything, it shields you the most from exposure. So who knew? Uh, anyways, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I'll try to do this more often if I get more vehicles in the area that I could do the same route. And I have to do the same route. Uh, otherwise, there's nothing makes sense. Uh, I'll try to do them and I'll upload them. And please let me know if you want to keep seeing them. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Till next time.